So we just won a Gold Hunger Games. That's our first time winning, and it's, it wasn't Gold Hunger Games, unfortunately, but we got 20 points, 10 blood money, 3 bags. You get a golden gift box for just getting first place? That's pretty sick, actually. I didn't know you got that for first place. So 5 bill cash and this. Hopefully this will give us something decent this time around. Let's go and grab our fairy. Drop that. Alright, come on. Chest! Oh, we got one! We got one. Let's go. That's two untradeable chests now. And three goodie bags as well. That was actually really freaking solid. Alright, 2,000 tickets has been obtained yet again. Um, yeah, our cash stack is not looking too hot right now, I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go for the upgrade though because I'm an idiot and hopefully we get it. Otherwise, this is just sad because we are way under drop rate. We are due one. We are due one. Alright, here we go. Come on. If we fail this, that's one out of four. So we should get this one. Three, two, one. Come on. Bro, this thing is so rigged, I'm telling you. It is not 50%, bro. It, is, it can't be. It can't be. There's no way. Okay, goodie bags and vote tickets have sold. I can do it again. I can do it again. Here we go. Alright, I have the mystery chest in our inventory. Just because I know we're going to get it. Like, I just know it's guaranteed. Like, watch this. Boom. Easy. Dude, there's no way we've done one out of five. This is actually the biggest fucking joke. I'm just going to open it on its own, I don't care. Yeah, let's see, this is... Oh wait, we got a Grand Crest. Wait, that's actually not bad, I don't think. How much is this? Hold on, hold on, pause. Pause, champ. 50 bill. I thought it was going to be a little bit more. I'll pay for my next key temp, yay! I guess, woohoo, so excited. And our Grand Crest sold, still waiting for that Grand Ring, but I figured that was going to be a longer merch, but I guess it's not too much of a rush. How much are prize keys? We're freaking doing it, dude. Surely, 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 surely we upgrade this one. Like, I am begging. Come on. We've got one out of five. This is going to go two to six. Here we go. Boom. Thank you. Bro. Okay, this is actually, like, actually a joke. We have failed five in a row now. Just, just wow, dude. Just, just wow. That is impressive to fail that many times. Super, super impressive. Okay, not so bad if we get out. We have 30 seconds left, but we got two Infernals. I They were both standing next to each other, and they neither of them doubled when we got them, which sucks, but it's fine. Still, that's like 40 bill. Not bad. Okay, it's our time to shine. Sold the two imps that we just got, and it, it was basically literally a prize key. We literally got a whole last prize key from that. And we're going to upgrade it, and we're going to open this chest, and it's going to be happy days. Boom. Dude. I'm like on the borderline of just necking it in game, bro. This is the saddest thing ever. Six fails as a noob account, by the way. It would be different if I was a main and had a lot of money, but I'm a noob and I'm losing. What is that? Six fails. What even is that? I have lost 240 bill on prize keys just failing the last six. That is retarded. Just gonna say it. Alright, like two inventories of imps later, let's do this. At least getting money through imps, it doesn't feel as bad because it's just so easy to get money through imps, but... Here we go. Oh, I should probably buy the key first, huh? This is how brain rot this is right now, like, I'm, it's just a repetitive process. This is gonna put us at nearly 300 bill loss, just open this one chest. It was, It's never gonna be worth it unless we get stupid, stupid lucky, but... Who knows, we could get it right now and then open it and get something good, please? Please? Okay, yay, woo, two out of nine, <laughs> yahoo. That is terrible luck, but here we go, come on. Was it freaking worth it? I'm f I can finally stop buying these stupid keys. And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna get something good, I can just smell it. Boom! Oh, okay, wait a second. Grand Crest, Face Guard, and a Cult Ornament Kit. Hold on! Wait, that's two uh, collection logs right there. Not well. I already opened the occult, but we got the night the face guard. Hold on, I don't think face guard's really that great. Like for me to use, I think it's just a PK helmet. Fifty nine bill though, that is not bad. So we're never gonna use it. So I'm obviously gonna sell it. Fifty eight bill, boom. The grand crest definitely selling that. Like you have to get so lucky to get any money out of this, but. That's going to go in there for 50 bill. Huge. 
We'll do it for 50.5. There we go. And then the coal, I'm thinking about just using it because I could actually use this. Uh, yeah. We already have the anguish. We still need the coal and the torture, so I might just use it myself just to have it and, you know, get it over with. Don't have to worry about it later because it's always going to be an auto keep untradeable, too. Alright, we sold two cursed dimplings. Alright, now we have some cash. Let's just go and get a coal. Screw it. Um, 14 bill. I don't know. I'm not even going to bother trying to wait it out, but let's go ahead, grab that, grab that. Let me just make sure I do, I'm 99 million percent sure I don't have one. Just always oh, better safe than sorry. There we go. We now have an occult. That's going to be beautiful for raids as well and stuff like that until we get better stuff. But either way, it's just an untradeable item. Gives 27 per, uh, magic attack bonus and deals 10% extra magic damage. Like, it's just so good. So good for our account. Wait, so every, both the, the red and the blue Halloween masks are freaking four bags each, but the green one in for, is in here for like that much? What? I'm just gonna throw in there for 100 bags. If it sells, it sells. Are they actually selling for that? Green H. Oh, no, they're not. Why? Someone must have just bought them out for fun. Interesting. I mean, if that sells, I guess that's pretty cool. Oh, Night Terror in three minutes. Let's go. This could be the rebuild. Also, our blood money stack is getting quite up there. I think I'm just going to get Augury out of the way real quick. Let's also open these. Uh, five pure points. Interesting. So let's go over here. Blood perk of the tree. So do we have to... I don't know which way we're supposed to go. I think we can go this way. I don't know. Let's just get this regardless. Boom. Oh, I have to go the other way. All right. Gotcha. One extra blood money. Uh, one extra blood money again. These are like PK perks. Our chance to receive, uh, blood diamonds from PKs. Okay. Receive plus three blood money for... Okay. Wait, I didn't buy this one? Killjoy 2. Wait, what? War diamonds. Really? Wait, where's Killjoy 2? Am I tripping? I'm trying to unlock this. I'm so confused. Oh, I gotta go like up and around. That is interesting. Can I? I'll just do this then instead. And Augury, boom. Augury obtained, boys. Augury obtained. Let's make sure we don't miss this. We'll, we'll, we'll purchase more stuff after, but let's make sure we do not miss this nightmare. All right. Thank you for my volatile orb. I greatly appreciate that. And nothing. GG. Damn, Inquisitor face guard and double orb of terror drops. And we got nothing. Sag, dude. Dude, there, is the Orb of Terror really that much? What even does it do? Oh, okay. Wow, there's just no Volatiles in here. I'm sure people would overpay for that. Let's see. Orb of Terror. Is this really 4 trill? Holy, that guy just got 8 trills a drop. That's insane. Could have bought prize keys for 3k, not gonna lie. 3k blood money. Alright, we're gonna get this one for 4,250. Because I want to get this Eternal Recoil. I think this would be good. Gives all rings a random ch a chance to apply recoil damage. Slightly increases the damage of blood rings. Boom. There we go. Eternal Blood Cape. Allows you to use blood capes on the phone. Upgrades and Eternal Blood. Auto keep an untradeable. Ooh. We can get an untradeable cape. Which means we can get rid of the bounty cape. Which is a gives us an option for another plus one item. For 5k though. Let's see. No, I think it'd be better just to save up for an Eternal Bounty Cape. Untradeable version of Bounty Cape with slightly better stats gives 10% chance to upgrade an emblem again after target kill. I want does it? It doesn't give better drop rate though. I thought it would, but you need 15 of these, so it's like a 300 bill roll at 65% chance. I mean, 65% is pretty good. I say that, but I'm I fucking lost like seven in a row on grand prize keys that are 50%. So I don't know about that anymore. <laughs> okay. Items in the blood pool store cost 10% less blood money. Purchasing that. So now what's the prize key worth? Let's see. 2,700. I think that you do profit off of certain things once you have all those uh, uh, purchased. Let's see. There's Is there more uh, to do that? Blood pool. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I guess that's as cheap as these things will get. So 2.7k for a prize key. Is that even worth it? I don't think so. Because blood money is just slightly cheaper than donor tickets and it's 2,000 donor tickets, so still not really worth purchasing. Uh, but an imbued heart might be, what is that, 113? 
Oh yeah, I, I'll profit about four bill per heart I purchase instead of selling money straight up or blood money straight up. I don't think I need blood money for anything anymore. I think I'm pretty chill on almost everything here. Maybe this is good. If, yeah, when we venge PK, we're gonna need that. And this one ability to escape revs. Don't really need that. Don't need blood staff. Yeah, we don't really need anything else for now. So let's just go ahead and just purchase like three of these. And then we'll go and sell those. And that should give us some good money right there. A little bit of a rebuild. Alright, so I'm considering doing something very, very, very stupid. But first off, our uh, Infernal Imp sold at Grand Crest sold. So let's go and claim that. Alright, 52 bill. Boom. You're probably wondering, what are we doing with this? And why are we taking the Grand Ring out? First off, my Grand Ring got undercut by like so many different people. There's one in there for one trill now, one in there for one trill, and then another for 950. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a little bit of stupid fun. Purchase a Gambler Scroll. Keep in mind, this whole series, there's no donations, no nothing. This is all stuff that I'm earning and playing just how I want to. If I want to do a little gamble, I'm going to do a little gamble. So this is going to unlock gambling for us. So now we can start FPing and yeah. So we're going to chuck this grand ring as you can probably already tell by now. And hopefully walk away with some juicy, juicy money. And it's going to be a one and done thing if I win. Shoot, I may as well even keep the ring. No, I'll probably just sell it though. Because grand ring is such a, like, a late game uh, upgrade I feel. Uh, there's so many better options for something worth about a trill. Alright, here we go. 10,000 bags versus the Grand Ring. Oh god. GL. Come on. Come on, please. Please, please, give me a pair. We both have... He has a pair. I, I'm gonna bust. He oaks me. No. Uh, there it goes. There goes all that, just like that. That fucking blows, dude. And he gave me a good deal too, because someone just opened one and put it in for nine, uh, twenty-five bill. Oh, I, I actually had the cash offer and I lost, bro. That sucks. That actually sucks. Oh well, it's fine. We rebuild. I lost. I mean, I paid nine fifty-four, so I basically am down nine fifty bill now. From what we started. Hey, that, that's how gambling goes. I could just rage and keep gambling. I don't even know. What else? Do I, do? I don't even have much to gamble. Let's, who am I kidding? But, yeah. We just gotta rebuild. It's all good, though. Lesson learned, boys. This is why you do not gamba.